Is peroxide and baking soda good for your teeth? If you're considering using hydrogen peroxide and baking soda to whiten or clean your teeth, you're probably wondering if it's a good idea. Let's break down the details to help you make an informed decision. First, let's talk about baking soda. Baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, has been used for a long time in oral care. It's known for its mild, abrasive properties, which can help remove stains from your teeth and reduce plaque. In fact, studies have shown that baking soda can kill some of the bacteria that cause gum disease and reduce gum inflammation. However, there's a catch. While baking soda is generally safe, it can be too abrasive if used excessively. This can lead to enamel erosion, which is the wearing away of the hard outer layer of your teeth. When enamel is eroded, your teeth can become sensitive and you might be more prone to cavities. Now, let's add hydrogen peroxide to the mix. Hydrogen peroxide is a common ingredient in teeth whitening products because it acts as a natural bleach. When combined with baking soda, it can help whiten teeth by removing stains. But just like baking soda, hydrogen peroxide has its own set of risks. Using highly concentrated hydrogen peroxide can damage your teeth and gums. The acidity in hydrogen peroxide can irritate your gums and remove minerals from your tooth enamel, leading to extreme tooth sensitivity. Another important point is that these DIY methods are not supervised by dental professionals. In professional teeth whitening treatments, Dentists use protective gels or rubber to shield your gums from the bleaching agents. Without this protection, you're at a higher risk of gum irritation and other complications. In terms of using these products together, it's crucial to be cautious. Mixing baking soda and hydrogen peroxide can create a paste that you brush onto your teeth, but you need to use a soft bristled toothbrush to avoid further damaging your enamel. Even then, this method may not be as effective as ADA-approved whitening products or professional whitening treatments. So, is it good for your teeth? While baking soda and hydrogen peroxide have some benefits, such as reducing plaque and killing bacteria, the risks associated with their use, especially when combined, outweigh the benefits for many people. It's generally recommended to use toothpaste and whitening products approved by the American Dental Association to ensure your oral health is protected. If you're looking to whiten your teeth, it's best to consult with a dentist who can provide a safe and effective treatment tailored to your needs. Professional teeth whitening treatments can offer better results and fewer risks compared to DIY methods. Always talk to your dentist before trying any new oral care products or methods to ensure they are safe for you.